When it comes to Forex trading, there are two apps you which you can use uh, for trading. You can either use MT4 or MT5, but just from the names, you obviously know MT4 or MT5 is the upgraded version of MT4. So if you are just starting in Forex or even if you are an advanced trader, I always advise you to go with MT5. So on this video today, I'm going to show you step by step how I'm able to set up my MT5 or how I'm able to trade with MT5. So based on the requests I've gotten recently, I hope you find some value on this video today. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Indema Zegorlov. On this channel, we talk everything about trading, business, travel, and occasionally about uh, fun facts. On this video today, I'm going to be taking you step by step on how to set up your MT5 for success. So MT5 just stands for Meta Trading, um, Meta Quote Trading, and this is one of the best software you can use for trading. So on this video today, I'm going to be able to take you step by step on how to be able to set up the app or on how to also download the app to your phone or even to your computer. So without taking much of the time, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button so that you can always uh, be informed anytime I upload content like this. So without taking much of your time, let me just get into my screen and I'll be able to show you what to do exactly. So as you can see on my screen, this is what they call MT5. So I have it already downloaded on my computer. But let's just assume you don't have it on your computer. Let me show you how to download and how to set it up the right way. So to just to begin, you can go to this website. It's called icmarket.com. Or the broker which I will recommend for you to use is icmarket.com. If you check the link on the description below, you'll be able to find the broker. So you can use the link to be able to sign up for the broker. That's my recommended broker. So when you sign up for the broker, you just go to icmarket.com. Okay, when you go here, just create, you can you can create a re-account or if you want to try a demo account, you can always sign up for their demo account and you'll be able to try how to trade in a virtual account before you actually invest your real money. So when you sign up an account, either a re-account or a demo account here, they're going to send you an email. They're going to send you an email that will contain your MetaTrader login ID and your MetaTrader login password. So you're going to have those two details. When you sign up for a demo account, you just need to go under your platform. You just need to go under platform. You go under MetaTrader 5 and when you go under MetaTrader 5, you'll be able to download it. You can see MetaTrader 5. Just click on download. When you click on download, it will install automatically to your computer. So when you install automatically to your computer, they will ask for login details. So login details, uh, you just go here. Let me show you. Let me just assume I'm logging in. Login details. The login number is a number they're going to email you. They're going to send it to your email and the password is the same password they're going to send to your email. The, the server you're going to be using, obviously the server is still going to be sent to you over your email. So all the details will be sent to you over the email. So when you already input all those details and you click on login, just give it a couple of seconds and this page is going to display. Okay. When this page is going to display, so my main question is how do you turn this page to something that looks presentable like this you can see this page looks very presentable with this one you're able to read your chart you're able to see what is going on you're able to do your technical analysis you're able to draw your trend lines and everything so how do you set up your chart to make it as clean as this because when you're just starting always make your chart as clean as clean as possible so how do you set up your chart to be as clean as possible so let me just go back to overview. Let me just go back to the default setting. If I go back to the default setting, you can take any pair. Always just take any pair. When you click, just right click on the screen, go to properties. On here, we want to be able to customize. We want to be able to customize everything to look like a technical. Uh, let's just assume you're trading technicals or even if you want to trade robot or do fundamentals or anything. So let's make your charts to look maybe uh, somehow presentable, all right? So you just click on properties. When you click on properties, you're going to be able to come here. I want our background to be white because I want to be able to see everything which is going on. So for background, I click here and I just choose uh, white. Okay. So uh, background white, foreground, uh, let me, let's choose black so that we can be able to see the data that are by the side. Foreground, just choose black. So you can just copy the same settings I'm using here. You have bull bar. 
a bull is the same as the the, the the bullish momentum candle so you can choose this one to be uh, let's just choose this color or oh, let's see uh, let's choose this color uh, bar down let's choose the red I think this is red somewhere here and then bull candle again let's choose uh, this one then uh, bear candle let's choose red again so you just choose most of this one I think uh, price action line, price charts. So you just leave all these ones to be like this, okay? Then you go on show. We want to show the tickers. We want to show the uh, quick trading buttons. We want to show the big price. So you just tick the same tick, uh, the same settings I have here, all right? And you click on OK. So when you click on OK, you can see we still have a lot of things on this chart. We still have a lot of indicators, and everything is still so crowded. So to remove these indicators, you can just double click on it let me see you can just double click on the indicator and you just right click on it and you'll be able to delete delete indicator you see you just delete this all these indicators to just make your chart as clean as possible uh, let me delete window good so you can see we're already having our chart as clean as possible now let me make this one a little bit let me make it bigger all right so here we still have this grid we don't need this grid we don't need this uh this mathematical lines below we don't need the background to still have this grid so we click again on property uh we go on show we don't want grid show grid so we untick this one show grid we untick this then we confirm voila you can see our chart is very clean now so uh the other options you i want you to be able to check I just want you to go on under this uh, market watch this is where you're going to be able to put all your currency pairs you have most of these currency pairs here because i have already selected them so when you want to put new currency pairs let me just make this big you just come on market watch you, you double click you go to show all when you go to show all it's going to show you all the currency pairs that can be traded with that broker or it's going to show you all the currency pairs that can be traded with ic market so you just go to show all it will show you all the currency pairs and you select the currency pairs which you want to be able to see and also when you also come here you go to set always make it in such a way that they can show you the spread you can see the spread this one stands for the spread i want to be able to see the spread and to be able to do this you just click you just click here when you go on set you go to remove uh we don't want exotic currency pairs so make sure you remove exotic currency pairs and uh, this one all right okay all these currency pairs here are going to be the one will be trading okay so on the column on the column when you click here on the column go to spread because we want to be able to know the spread you always want to know the spread before you trade so you go to spread just make sure the spread is thick when the spread is thick on this same color here on this same column you're going to be able to see the, the spread okay or everything here is the spread of that currency pair so we have our charts already clean at least we can always push this back so to be able to save this same template to be able to save this same template so that you can use on all your chart you just double click here you go to template when you go to template uh go to save as save template as okay when you go to save save as you just choose the you can choose this one like uh, let me just put template two template two then you save okay so now you see this is this currency pair is already set up now let me go to uh euro usd how do we set this up you don't need to be going through this the, the all the processes which we did on the this the other currency pair what you do here is just one click you just double click here or you just right click here you go under template and you select the template which we just said this template which you saved was template two so you just click on it just one click you see the, the whole chart has been transformed to this new window with this new window is the same chart but now it's already been set in a way that you can easily draw your trend lines at least here this is uh, a four hour time frame we can easily draw our trend lines you can see these are trend lines we can easily draw you can easily draw our trend lines you can easily pick support and resistance all of that so this is already a trade setup that i think you should already be planning on taking because this is a trade setup you should plan on buying around this area stop loss here take profit here so with this one at least the chart is already clean you can always on, on on the bottom or on the top of the screen 
we have some other icons which I want to be able to explain to you. You have a uh, one minute time frame. So all of these stands for the time frames, the time frames. You can choose the daily time frame. You can choose the hourly time frame, the four hour time frame, five minute time frame or whatsoever. Here we have the tools which you can use. But most of these tools are not going to be here on your own chart. So for you to be able to have these, two, these tools here, just the same they are on my computer, you have to be able to right click here. And when you right click here, go on customize. Okay, when you go on customize, this is when you're going to be able to select the tools which you want because we don't need all the tools that are here, we just need some of the tools. So, when you go on customize, you just you can use my you can just follow my screen, just follow my screen, select everything as I had here. So, let's just assume we want to use this uh, uh trending by angle, okay, and we don't have it on the selected button, so you just click on it and you click on insert. You see, it's already inserted here. If I click on close, if you come here and you, you check, you're going to be able to see the icon is already here. All right. So if you are looking for any icon which you can't find, which you can't find on the toolbar, you can't find here, you just double click, go on customize, and you'll be able to see it on the list. You'll be able to see it here. So you have available buttons. There are many buttons, but I don't use all of those buttons. You have Fibonacci. So let, let's just assume we want to include Fibonacci. Okay. So I click on Fibonacci and I just click on insert. Fibonacci is going to be able to, to be added. So here you can even arrange. You can even take it up. You can even take it right up. So let's just assume we want it to be the first button here. So we can drag it here right up. If we leave it here and we confirm, you can see it's already there. So we already have Fibonacci, we have double, so let's delete one. You just click on it and you click on remove. You can see it's already removed from the toolbar. So if there's any other tool which you don't need, you do the same. You just click on it and you click on remove. All right. So that's just uh, what you need to do about the toolbar. Then uh, any other thing, are you, this one is just for you to increase. This one you can use to increase your, your candlesticks. Maybe you're doing analysis candle by candle. Then to be able to make it big, you just click on this plus. For you to make it small, you just click on this uh, minus. It's the same thing. You'll be able to make it small. Okay. So my favorite is when it looks something like this. At least with this one, I can easily see. Then if you want the candles, if you want to expand your chart, you just need to come here. You just you just screw. You just click by this end and you screw up and down. When you click at this end and screw up and down, you're going to be able to expand or contract your chart. All right. So which other thing? And for you to be able to, to be able to see the trade when you launch a lot of trades so this since this is a demo account let me see if i can launch uh, some trade to be able to show you an example so let me just click on this let's just put a lot size here at 0 0.1 uh, so i think these are the basics options which you need to be able to know about mt5 so this other option here for you to be able to have this here you can see here i can close it so for you to be able to have this option here make sure you have one click trading make sure you have one click trading turn on so for you to be able to turn one click trading on you just have to right click on the screen and you have one click trading so if i click here you can see this thing disappears but i want one click trading to be on so i right click and i, I just choose sorry and i just choose uh one click trading so that you can be able to launch your trade directly from here so let me just assume i have some trades running since uh, this is a demo account let me open many trade and then show you how can you show or how can you see the trade which are running so let me just assume i have some trade i'm just placing some trade okay now i've placed almost about five trade but you know see, uh, you, if you check on my screen you can't see anything you can't see any trade so for you to be able to see the trade which are running or the trade which you've trade or which the trade which you've already opened you just click on Control T, all right? You just click on Control T on your computer. When you click on Control T, it's going to be able to open this window. From this window, you can see all your trade. These are the trade which I just opened. You can see your account balance. You can see the equity. You can see the margin. You can see the trade you, you just opened. And even here, you can still close this trade directly from here. Okay? You can see the trades are open. They are already up with almost about uh, $10 profit. So if you check, okay, maybe you want to be able to get out of this trade at this point, then you just close, you just need to click here. You can see the, the trades are already, already closing. The trades are already closing, closing. So I've already closed all the trade. So for you to collapse this window, you just click here, it will collapse, or you click on Control T again, and the window is going to be able to collapse. Then on Navigator, on the Navigator, this is where if you have some robot, maybe you have a robot which you've bought somewhere or you've created somewhere, this is where you're going to be able to see all of your robot. You're going to be able to see the robots here. And to install a robot on your computer, 
or to install a robot on your MT4, what you just have to do is to open your uh, your meta meta code uh, folder. When you open the meta code folder, you'll be able to put the robot inside. When you put the robot inside and you refresh, you will see the robot on the screen. So all your robots, you'll be able to see them here. Uh, I think those are the most important. Those are the most important options which you need. And for all the currency pairs. For all the currency for all the currency pairs which you are trading or for all the currency pairs which are on your watch list you can always find them down here you can always find all the currency pairs down here so this one we already uh, converted the screen this one is still on on the default it is still on the default screen so for us to be able to change it to our template the template we saved earlier you just right click on the screen you go to properties or if you don't want to go through that long method you just right click on the screen you go to template and you choose the template voila it, it chooses the, the best template and your chart is already like that so you have all the currency pairs below and i think uh with this you if you know how to set your chart the same way then you're good to go you're already set to use meta trader 5. so to do the same thing on your phone to do the same thing on your phone what you just have to do is you have to download meta trader 5 on your phone you can download it from your play store or from your app store so when you download uh, Meta Trader 5 from your phone, you just need to go on login, use the same login ID, the same password, and the same saver, the same as you, you log in on the computer. That's how you're going to be able to log in on your phone. When you log in on your phone, the same trade that are going to be uh, running on your computer, you'll be seeing the same trade on your phone. Okay? So if, if you watch up to this particular, uh, this particular point and you follow all the steps, then this should be able to enable you to be able to place your first trade on Meta Trader 5. So you also check these other videos. Also check these other videos, which I'm going to leave, uh, leave the link below. That will also guide you on how to choose the right forest broker. And click here to be able to subscribe to my channel. Until then, I'll see you on the next video.